Hi guys, Elise here from The Painted Brushing Co. I want to do a really quick video about how I save my paintbrushes. This paintbrush was used with Authentico Vintage um, in the color graphite. I forgot about the brush. I've let it soak, but it is still, there's a lot of paint stuck in those bristles. Um, and they're very, very stuck together. I have tried, I've soaked it, combed it out, um, and there's still just too much paint in there. It's quite coarse, they're really stuck together. So, when this happens, the easiest way to save my paintbrush um, with the less amount of work possible, because that's what I'm about, is Autenico's Bio Strip. It's safe for your paintbrushes. Dip it in, get a really good coating on there. You don't want heaps. And then make sure you're just using something that you can just throw away. And you can already see it's pulling that paint off. So just sort of push it in. You can use your fingers if you want. Just push it in, coat those bristles really, really well. And you know, let that soak. Really good amount of it on there. And then we're just going to let that soak in that. Bio strip works in half an hour, but I've got two kids in tow today. So whenever I get back to this, it, you'll find it won't dry out super quick. My brush is also, the bristles are wet. So it's got extra moisture there, but you can already see it's pulling away that paint. So I'm just going to sit it there, let that soak, come back to it and rinse it under my tap, use my comb, comb it out, and it's going to pull all that paint away. So it's still very pliable, as you can see. And my brush has now all come apart. It's gone a bit sticky, but it is very, very pliable. So I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to show you <laughs> this with one hand. Because I am filming. But we want just a little bit of water. Biostrip is um, biodegradable and it is water wash off as well. So all you're going to do is you're just going to rinse it in your water. Please excuse the state of my sink. It's a lot of paint and stuff being used in this one. So you just want to rinse it really, really well. And you can see all that paint. That's paint coming off all that black stuff. So you just want to keep going until it's all rinsed out. So I'm going to keep going and then I'll show you the brush once I finish rinsing it. Um, some warm water is really helpful as well and have some dish soap on hand as well. Okay, so it's now rinsed out. I've been rinsing baby for a minute and it's very rinsed out. It looks just like a normal brush again. The bristles are really smooth and silky. They've all come apart. I don't even need to run a comb through this none of those bristles are stuck together anymore so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop through just some soap whatever hand soap or dish soap you've got on hand you, i find it's just enough to finish cleaning the bristles get any remaining bias strip out obviously you don't want to be leaving any on your bristles gets any of the remaining bias strip out and it just gets them nice and clean and smooth and silky so I'm going to finish rinsing it and then we'll have a look. Okay, so this is, so you see all that black stuff still on my hand? I know there's not a lot. This is all the paint that's still stuck in the brush. It's not stuck to the bristles anymore, but this has got some soap in it. I'm just using, this stuff is what I've got on hand here. So I'm just using some of that and it's getting the remaining paint out of my brush. So I just keep moving it around. I like to swish it in my hand. I can't do that because I'm one-handed at the minute, but just swishing it around, really rubbing it together. Oops. And work, work the soap into those bristles and really get all that paint out. And of course, keep rinsing it as well. Just like you would normally wash a paintbrush. Okay, so we're all done all nice and smooth still a little bit wet i've just sort of flung it out a little bit and spun it between my hands but we're all clean you can see none of the bristles are stuck together they're really soft clean there's no paint remaining in them at all that's another good thing about bias strip even if your paintbrush wasn't like mine was but they tend to get a bit of build up up here um bias strips are really good for getting all that out so my paintbrush is completely clean now there's no paint remaining up in those bristles they're nice and soft and back to normal i like to let my paintbrushes pretty much be dry before i paint with them i actually don't like painting with overly wet 
paint brushes, maybe a little bit damp. But I've got no plans to use this brush that's so going to get to dry out. Um, when you're drying your paint brushes, either make sure they're lying down nice and flat. Don't like sit them like this because then you'll end up with like damage damage bristles and don't sit them like straight up and down because then you're going to end up with damage as well um, and if a paintbrush dries like that it can actually be really hard to get them back to normal shape so that's why they've got holes at the top most of the paintbrushes do this is one of the paintbrushes that I sell and there's a hole at the top so you can hang them up otherwise sit them upside down as well works really really well you just want to protect the bristles but all oh, clean. Oh, look at that shine. Um, super soft, back to normal, and ready to paint again. Thanks for watching. Bye.